We have prelude number one by Federico Monpo. It says dance, the style romance. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but obviously, uh, what it means is clear. Uh, so, what does that mean? The thing about Monpo, there are a few things. I know him indirectly. One of my teachers uh, for two summers, Bella Siki, uh, knew Monpo personally. And I happened to know that he was a person who was painfully shy, painfully shy. And um, I also, he is also a composer who recorded, I think, all of his piano music. And so there is a recording of him playing this piece very slowly, much, 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 much slower than you would think from the indication of dance in the style of romantic. I'll leave the link in the, in the comment section. So, and everything is not like not aligned. So his right hand is always behind his left hand. Very stylized. Now, I've said this in my other videos too, but I happen to believe that composers sometimes are not the best interpreter of their own pieces. Um, they're too close to it, I think. Um, and so sometimes their performances do not carry what they intended their music to, I believe. Um, even in their markings, musical indications, I sometimes I have to wonder what they meant rather than what they said. But in general, Monpo's philosophy was maximum expression through minimal means. So, I know people who play it very, very fast. And what do I do? What do I think this piece means? So I want to first focus on the repeated notes that open up the melody. I think repeated notes are especially musically meaningful. Um, it's like, it's a feeling that you have to reiterate over and over again. It's like saying mama. When you say mama, you never say the first ma and the second ma the same way. Um, and speaking of repetition, the first B is repeated four times before it descends to go back to that same B. And then the four repeat repetition is repeated in the left hand. One, two, three, four. Now, this could be musical convention. This fits within the, the two bar and the four bar phrase, everything. But if he was into numbers like Bach was, which I wouldn't be surprised by, um, there may be some kind of a meaning that he wanted to express through the number four. And, you know, and it's anyway, whether it's true or not, um, it's fun to think about. It, it gives you another sort of thing to be inspired by. piano. Again, one, two, three, four. And then 
he writes piano again, even though there has not been any dynamic markings. Piano. So. There is this eighth rest underneath the last chord of the melody. What do I do with that? Tre expressive. Question though. And then piano again. So in Monpo's own recording here I get goosebump. It's like he's expressing, he's squeezing his feelings out of each note when he plays this. Um, and I want to emulate that. C major C sharp major chord surprising 